And I believe this is the time for the greater works. A double portion of that anointing is going to come upon your life. This conference is going to change your life. David was a young man, and he was anointed for a purpose. And when the Philistines came out against Israel to fight, Saul didn't have the anointing on him anymore. It was gone, so he dug a foxhole. And he's the leader of the army, and everyone in the army dug foxholes. Nobody was winning the fight until Goliath came out, nine and a half foot tall. If he'd have been alive today, he'd be a Dallas Maverick. <laughs> Nine and a half foot tall. And he comes out every time he lifted his leg up and brought it down, the Richter scale he ticked off at 6.58. And he hollers out, hey! You bunch of sissy Christians! Send me your best man! Let him fight me! And whoever wins, the loser will serve the winner. They digging them foxholes fast. Ain't nobody going down to meet that man. Some people find demons behind every tent pole. We come through it when preachers were getting people to spit up in paper bags. That's the devil. If you got a hold of a real devil, it'd have you running through Dallas. Morris knows what it is, so can encounter the real demon forces. I'll never forget when I was with A.A. Allen, they brought a woman in from the mental institution in a limousine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I was preaching the day service, and I was going out to start that service, and Brother, Sh Brother Allen said, Shamba, come with me. They're bringing a woman in here, demon possessed. They can't keep clothes on her. They got her wrapped up in blankets. I said, well, let me go get the service started. I'll be out there. And he was in there praying in that limousine, and I went around to the other door, and when I opened the door, that woman looked at me and said to Alan, you need Shambox help, huh? Brother Alan said, you know this woman? I said, I don't know that woman. I said, that's a devil talking to her. I said, that makes me feel good. The devil knows who Shambach is. It's the devil said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? I want you to know. Now you know the story, I don't want to go into it, but Jesse packed a lunch and he sent David down on a journey and said, go on down there to your brothers, they're in the army. They down there fighting. That's what Jesse thought. They ain't fighting, they're playing, playing war, digging foxholes. And David got there, here comes Goliath. Hey, send me your best man. David said, who is that? That's Goliath, man. Well, he said to his brothers, get up, go down there and get him. Go on home, boy. Who's taking care of them little sheep you're taking care of? I know why you're down here. You come down here to see the fight. What fight? Ain't no fight. You're hiding from the enemy. You're too busy playing church, singing three hymns, having a prayer. Given a 20 minute, I don't want to call it a sermon, speech. Then get, sing the doxology and go home. David said, go get him. 
He went to Saul and said, let me go get him. 17 years of age. Saul recognized he had something that he used to have. But he said, well, if you, now David must have been a good preacher. He talked Saul into sending him down. I mean, he had soldiers well equipped who wouldn't dare to go, but here comes a stripling of a lad. And he said, put on my armor, put on his helmet, breastplate, put everything on him, put his shoes on his feet, stuck a sword in his hand and a shield in the other. He said, all right, boy, sick him. David said, I can't move. That's what the church wants to do. It wants to weigh you down. It'll put all kinds of things on you. It'll put you in the women's missionary meeting. But I want you to know God wants you liberated. God wants you set free. He wants you to lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset you. You've got to run this race and run it with patience. Can you shout praise the Lord? He looked at Saul and he said, listen, I got something ain't nobody got. What is that? It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. He said, I want you to know when I was taking care of them sheep, a lion came down with one thing on his mind, and that was lamb chops. And he said, he'd come to take my lambs away. And he said, the Holy Ghost came on me and I tore that lion apart. A bear came down. I did the same thing to him. And he said, this uncircumcised Philistine, he's going to be the same as the lion and the bear. I want to go out and get him. Don't you ever run from the devil. You're going to have an anointing on you. And the devil's going the anointing is upon you and you have the only weapon that's formed against him to keep him where he belongs that devil ain't got no business in your head he ain't got no business on your back in your stomach in your chest in your legs that devil ain't got no business in your pocketbook he ain't got no business in your family there's only one place the devil has any right to be and that's under your feet brother destroyed him 2,000 years ago and he said behold I give you power 